today i'm going to teach about um, i'm going to teach about how to link our withdrawal address that is the bybits withdrawal address to the cbex trading platform so you tap you open your cbex your bybits this is your bybits you open it so when it opens it will be in our own page like this what do i mean is going to be in our own page to be displaying this that you are in the home page you understand so what you need to do is to move it to assets you now click on assets when you click on assets it's going to bring out this interface when you are in this interface you just click on deposit because you want to deposit into your you want any crypto that is going to be sent to this uh, bybit should be deposited into your bybit account so you are going to click on deposit so we are clicking on deposit now so now when you are here it's going to bring up um, how do you want to deposit into your bybit so we click on deposit crypto we are going to that is you want to accept crypto into your bybit so you click there so when you click there it's going to display list of currency cryptocurrency for you something like this you can see usdt you can see hamster you can see ethereum you can see btc usdc srp trc mt and solana but what we are looking for here is the usdt because that's the what we use in funding our uh, cbex so what we are looking for sometimes it might not display if it didn't display what you do is that you just go here and search you understand so let me just go there and search usdt now i'll just type usd usdt so you see that it just pop out See that it just pop out for me it's showing you as the this one so you just tap on it assuming it did not show so you just tap on it and allow it to load so when it opens there are different uh, usdt blockchain well we, they call them addresses you see that they have different address here but the most important thing that we are looking for here is either the TRC20 or the BEP20. So it's just like name. Look at it now. This is what we normally use. And this. But most importantly, this is the one they use most. Because the charges on this one are lower than the charges on BEP20. You can add both of these into your uh, by uh, uh, CBEX. You can add both of them into your CBEX accounts. That is uh, both ERC20, RC20, and BEP20. CBEX accepts both of them. But if you are selecting any one of them, you have to be sure that that is the one you want to use. So now you click on, let's assume in. You click on TRC20, that is this one. You want to get the deposit address for that. You click on it. So now, this is our. It's not broken. Now, look at the information here. It's a warning. Look at this warning. It says, Please confirm that you are depositing USDT to this address on the TRC20 network mismatch address information may result in the permanent loss of your asset that's just it so if you know it is trc20 you are using copy trc20 this is the address for trc20 this is your address so you are going to copy it and go directly to your cbex so you just tap Either you tap here, you tap here to copy, or you tap here to copy, or 
all of them work the same so i want to tap and copy it now so it has been copied so now you now go to your cbex when you are your cbex sorry let me open the cbex again So we are trying to open our CBX now. So as only we have logged in in our CBX, we now go, it will be in home, then we go to this guy here and click on it. So when we click on it <coughs> to bring some menu. So when it brings some menu, we go to security. This click on this. So when we click on it, it's going to ask us to it's going to bring this menu and bind withdraw address so that address that we have copied we are going to now tap into this bind address the network is so slow so let's just give it a little time Oh, the network is so bad. Okay, let me pause this video a bit. All right. So right now it has opened. You can see that already I've already binded my own TRC20 wallet address. That's what you're seeing here. You can see TRC20. So if it is ERC20 you want to copy, you must make sure that in Bybit also you have you copied only this one. Sorry, ERC20, but mostly we use TRC20. So when you copy it, you just paste it and confirm it has been binded. You understand? But on your own, you will not find address like this because my own has already been binded. Let's just check this it will be empty like this so when you just press it uh press you put it you paste it here and you click submit it will show as if it has been banded just the way this one is so that's the simplest way to bind your withdrawal address to bybit uh, to cbex i hope this video helps thank you